This is Wild Chronicles. We head now to the Arctic North, Greenland, and Iceland, where photographer Jim Baylog is determined to catch global warming in the act. It's all part of our Climate Connection series, a unique partnership involving Wild Chronicles NPR and the National Geographic magazine. No one said it would be easy or even possible, but photographer Jim Baylog is determined to catch global warming in the act. In this case, it's documenting the devastating impact of climate change on many of the world's most active glaciers. When I bring the forensic evidence back home, I hope that that will affect the public awareness of the reality and immediacy of climate change. Funded in part by National Geographic Expeditions, his project called the Extreme Ice Survey is more difficult than anything he has ever attempted, but the results could be unprecedented. Why don't we do a series of pictures of where that glacier sits in April of 2006 and let's go back in the fall of 2006 and show just how fast these things disappear in the course of just one summer. The plan is to anchor 26 time-lapse cameras next to 16 glaciers around the world. The cameras will then snap a picture at each site every daylight hour. Shutters will flutter each and every day for two years. Then he'll synchronize the images into a unique time-lapse documentary film if it all works, that is. I wanted to get down at ground level, I wanted to shoot in a human time frame, and I wanted to see how these things would evolve. The Intrepid cameras must be able to endure temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, winds of up to 175 miles an hour, and massive accumulations of snow. They'll also require a self-sustaining energy source, in this case, a solar panel, to keep the batteries charged. The 35 millimeter cameras have already proven themselves capable of withstanding extremes. Baylog's concern is over the newly designed and largely untested electronic timers that will be used to make his cameras work every hour for two years. We're having lots of problems with this screen right here. The electrical contacts aren't working right. By the time the cameras are fully operational, Baylog will have logged 30,000 air miles. For his Extreme Ice Survey project, Baylog plans to personally tend to a few of the less remote stations. Local volunteers will monitor others, and the most remote ones, well, they're on their own. The plan is to accumulate more than 300,000 photographs. This is what I know how to do, and this is what I hope can be my contribution to address the global warming issue. Many of the massive tidewater glaciers, that is those that end in water instead of on land, are now collapsing into the sea at a rate greater than many had predicted. Jim Baylog wants to capture this moment in history when human intervention may have dramatically changed the course of nature. So let's uh, say goodbye and let it go and see what a couple years brings to us.